to Dahlia's Ways and today I am super excited because it's August, the middle of August, but for me, it's a sign that I have to get ready for fall and fall means <laughs> So, today we are going to be doing some super cute fall accessories like these that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do and they're just these super cute and simple rings and the thing with these are is they're cheap and you don't need many things for them. All you need are beads, string, and also scissors, which make sure you have um, parental guidance, parental supervision, I mean, when you're using scissors. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Woo! Okay, y'all, so as you can see, I'm showing the rings. So I go ahead and get my string and beads and my scissors and next step is to measure your finger with your string i would recommend having the string a bit big so that way it's easier for you and the beads don't fall off so measure your finger or your toe i guess if you want a toe ring and grab whatever color beads you want you can do colorful you can just do black and white you can do whatever you want but i got orange and some brown I got this bead kit from Amazon if you're wondering, so I'll try and leave the link. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your string, and like I am doing, I'm going to tie a knot at the end with my string. And there I am tying my string. Make sure it's secure, and then tie it really good. And that's the little knot. Okay, so next you're going to want to add on your beads and I just keep adding beads on until it is fully beaded. So yeah. If y'all can't see the mistake I did, there's like two brown beads and I forgot to do the pattern, so just ignore that. And the last bead. Okay, so the next step when you add on all your beads is to tie a knot. I recommend doing a couple of ties just in case because it is, it is a ring. So you want to make sure it's secure. And just tie it really, really good like I'm doing. And I'm so excited for fall. I cannot wait. That's why I got the idea for this video. Go ahead and tie, 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 tie. Really good. And there you go. And next you have to cut off the ends and make sure not to cut the ring because that's a disaster. So there you go, That there you have it, your ring and you can add it onto your finger, which is what a ring is for. And yeah, that concludes the ring tutorial so y'all i'm back from making my rings and these are how they turned out 
I did some off camera and also some, this is the one I did on camera. It's just like a brown and orange, which this is one of my favorites. It's like a witch one, like green and purple. You get it? And they go with my other rings. So I will try and leave the link below to the beads and the string, I will try to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is especially good for the fall lovers like me. So I love y'all and hope y'all have a wonderful day and peace.